Hey everybody. Gee, I couldn't stream because of my things being down. I thought I'd do a video on my thoughts on the whole Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Kind of struck everybody either they're excited or they're terrified or they're mad. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. Um, just going to do it live talk to you guys tile take on it what I think's going on where I see things going what I'm doing about it and we'll do that in the course of a flight in here in Montreal in the course of beautiful twin Navion it's ugly duckling it's a beautiful swan in the air it's actually ugly in hell to look at <laughs> it's still one of my go-to aircraft flaps up so when I saw the announcement instantly I was excited right off the bat very excited about it and then I was like oh that's gonna suck I spent so much money on this one what's gonna happen you know, they kind of left everybody up in the air it's like Well, we don't, nobody knows what's going to happen. I reached out to a couple of developer friends of mine. They had heard nothing. They didn't even know what was coming. So, you know, it was, there was that. But like I said, everybody was kind of left wondering. Myself, initially, I'm excited because the graphics look incredible. But then I'm thinking, dear Lord, I hope I don't have to buy a whole new system just to play the new version. So... Here's where I stand right now on the whole situation. I have to say I'm a little upset with Microsoft. But I'm also not upset with them. It's kind of middle of the road with this whole thing. Um, I'm upset that they went ahead and did this without... I mean, they had to tell somebody. I know it's a sensationalism, but they'd also told us that they were going to... Um, to be supporting this platform for 10 years. What they neglect to tell everybody is that during that 10 years, you're going to have to buy it three times. <laughs> so, that is the issue, I think, where it caught a lot of people off guard. And, uh, you know, Microsoft saying, hey, you can, we're going to support this for 10 years, and then, oh, well, just kidding. We're going to support it up until we need more money, and then we're going to make you buy a new version. And then you're going to support it until we need money, and then we're going to buy a new version. Wash, rinse, repeat. But then in the end, I realized I paid 90 bucks for it. Used it for four years. I do that every three years with some of the first-person shooter games. Every three or four years, I do it with them. So, the buying a whole new computer game, when you see it as a game, is just that. It's a game. And we buy, many of us buy new shooters, new whatever game we happen to play. We buy the next greatest version as soon as it comes out. They come out every three to four years. So, I guess I'm not as upset by that, because... I fly a lot, so I do get a lot out of it. I've definitely got my money worth out of it. My big issue now is what transfers over. They've said most stuff transfers over. Well, most is not all. Um, they haven't been real specific about any of it yet. They say, um, I've heard everything across the board, too. Oh, don't, don't only go with the big developers, and uh, I've heard only go with the small developers. You know what? Go with the developers you like. Still buy their stuff because whether it transfers or not, they are still feeding their families with it. So I don't care if it's a big developer, small developer. If you like them, keep buying their stuff because odds are it's going to transfer, and you're going to use it if you like that developer. So let's listen here to there. The developers have been told most of the stuff's going to transfer, but most of them haven't been told anything yet. 
So I imagine the model is going to transfer over. They may have to have an upgrade on the skins to a higher quality. I, I don't know. Like I say, I've, I've reached out to a few devs and nobody's heard anything from Microsoft. But they keep pe hearing people saying, well, I'm only buying stuff from here from the marketplace because I know that's going to transfer over. And, you know what? They said most of the stuff in the marketplace is going to transfer over. They still haven't said all or what is and what isn't. So, look, if you got a favorite developer, support them. Regardless. Because I have a feeling that even if it doesn't transfer over, they may do, look, you already have it here, 10 bucks, and I'll give you the new version, or something like that. So keep supporting the developers. Don't shortchange them for what Microsoft threw on us. You know, it's not their fault. They didn't know. Keep supporting them. And as far as the sim, I'll probably buy it, yeah. I probably will. So look, hey, I love streaming, and nobody's going to want to see the old version if the new one's out. Simple as that. I'm not buying it because I have to. I buy it more because I want to. I, I like the visuals of the new one. I like missions. Might give me some reasons to play other than what I already do. So there's a lot of that in there. Then I'm hoping, you know, most stuff transfers over that I don't have to buy a whole new machine. And I hope they clean up the code so it's not Microsoft Loading Simulator. From what I've been hearing rumors that the back end of this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, some of it is Microsoft, the previous version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, Flight Simulator X, is that it? FSX? I don't know. But some of the underlying code of this flight simulator is the previous one. And I think they really rushed this out, building it on the back of the previous simulator, to beat X-Plane 12 to the punch. In other words, they wanted to be the first to market with the next generation set. I think they kind of half-assed did it. Um, like I say, it crashes a lot. It's the only game I got that crashes fairly regularly. It stutters. It's got crazy load times. Um, so it, it, if the new one's better optimized, I'm all for it. 100%. Give me something new. But also give me better maps. There's parts of this world that still look like Super Mario World. So let's hope it's got all the world maps updated. So let's be real, guys, at Bing. If you ever listen to this, Bing Maps. There's companies that map this old Earth at one meter resolution every day. <laughs> you can go on and buy a satellite picture of your house. It's only a few days old. So the technology's there, the satellites are up there. Let's get some updated maps. Let's get the a more streamlined code that better optimizes the GPU and the CPU. Let's push more of it to the CPU so we don't need these three and four thousand dollar GPU and power upgrades, power supply upgrades. By the time we're done, we're three, four grand in the hole just to run something. So let's get away from that. Let's start using these systems that are in it. So let's hopefully they have done that and are doing that. I, I think they are. I think they started from scratch. I hope. Because if they build on it again, then they're just throwing good to bet over top of bad. Putting lipstick on a pig is still a pig. So I am hoping the developers, like I said, get some information quick because not, not every day a developer throws your logo on their airplane. And, you know, the small time developers need, don't back out on them. Whatever you do, don't back out on the small time developers. Because I'll tell you what, they'll be the first ones to be standing behind the product 100% when something doesn't work right. So, make sure you, you know, that's my biggest fear. I keep everybody saying, I'm not buying anything until a new one comes out. Well, you're going to kill some developers for a year. And, and that's not right to them. You're still going to use the plane. If you buy it now, you're going to fly it for a year before the other one comes out. That's silly. And you have a good chance of flying it after it comes out. So don't, so don't play that game. Don't cut the developers off just because 
something Microsoft did. Again, I can't stress that enough. <coughs> like, <coughs> excuse me. Well, like I said, I'm hoping and yeah, hope that we get a nice way to go. That they give us a decent product at a decent price. And I don't have to go out and spend the cost of a small car for a new computer to play it. So short of that, I will be getting it. There's little to no doubt. And look, as a streamer, I'm all for it because it's driving viewers back up. We'll have a new product. Viewership was down by everybody. Everybody that does flight sim, with a few exceptions that are just taking off and doing real well right now, everybody's down a third over the last year. This year, the last year's down a third. So if the hype brings viewers back, great. I mean, I'm all for it. That part of it, because look, hype brings viewers, new product brings viewers, and this product's gonna be four years old soon. And in computer terms, it's ancient. <laughs> so let's hope that everything goes well. I'm sure it will. We can get on with everything. I know there's millions of videos out there. I wasn't planning on doing one, but I heard several people saying they weren't going to support, they weren't going to buy any more aircraft until they do. For sure, 100% guaranteed. Well, we're probably not going to get 100% guaranteed. And I work with several developers testing new aircraft. I've become friends with several of them. And I'm just going to tell you, don't cut them off because it's, <laughs> that's not right to them. They just keep buying your aircraft, flying it, enjoying the game. And I'm not going to jump up and down and say, well, it's a sim, it's a game, it's a sims game. At the end of the day, I don't get paid to fly it. It's not something I do for a job, so it may be a simulator, but it's still a game. It's still a computer game. I play it to have fun. So it's a game. Even if it simulates flying perfectly, I fly it for fun. I'm not flying it to get a pilot's license, so it's, it's a game. <laughs> and like any game, they have a lifespan. Like I said, there, there's games I drop the crew every th three years, buy a new one. Forza Horizon, every two to three years, buy a new one. You know, I look over there, a Far Cry, buy a new one. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not unheard of. It's every three or four years to buy a new product. And that's all we're doing and we're starting the same cycle with this it's going to be a four year right now it's you know four years old we'll buy a new one it's supposed to be better than the one before it let's hope it is so i don't have a problem with that i'll have a problem if the price point is crazy or if there's a lot of stuff doesn't transfer and like i said what i'd like to see is developers be able to offer Maybe something like, look, it's going to 100% transfer over, but for $10 or whatever, we'll give you high-res skins for the new simulator. Something like that, so that they're not left in the cold. Microsoft is making more money on it. Let these guys make more money out of it as well. You know, so I'm hoping something works out like that, where you can take this aircraft, still fly it in the sim, but if you want it to look great, you kick the Dell for a couple of bucks. They give you a new skin that makes it work look better in the new sim, and it, everybody's happy. You know, it's, it's a, a minimal fee. You're not rebuying the aircraft. You know, you're five bucks, you get new skins, whatever. Something that the developers get a kick of this new pie as well. I'd like to see something along those lines. That's kind of a long ramp. But I just feel like i got to get this out there because it's my two cents on the whole shooting match. And i got to fill this flight from Montreal, or from home to Montreal. It's much easier to fly it than to drive it. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I imagine 100% of my peripherals will work. All my throttle projects will work because they work with every sim. 
that's they're not something that's oh it only works here it only works there they work well so i'm not worried about that i'm not real worried about these most of my aircraft because a lot of them are going to transfer if a few of them don't well then i either won't fly them or if i got to get new ones and the price isn't bad i'll get new ones. so in the end i think we'll all be happy if we get a machine uh game that crashes less and looks better i mean this looks incredible when you get your settings right and it's working smooth this looks incredible but some of the views in the new one was really good and the new one's got missions well this one has missions too if you buy it from hp high performance group hpg buy their helicopters you get mission packs as a matter of fact a lot of that video looked like a commercial for hpg because they had the helicopters the blimps the, <laughs> the missions a lot, a lot of it looked like the hpg so i'm hoping for that the one thing i would like to see is some sort of um i don't want to phrase this without it's coming out quite wrong but there are aircraft you can buy in the marketplace that don't even have a cockpit there should be some minimum standards for aircraft for sale in the marketplace and if they don't meet those minimum standards or you have an aircraft that consistently has a problem and it's not fixed and ignored by the developer it should be cold simple as that it should never get approved that's to be in there if it's not complete or if it has massive issues it should be taken down and they shouldn't be allowed to put up another one until they fix it. Or reimburse everybody that they took the money from and put out a product that you can't use. You know, some sort of quality control over the marketplace. I mean, I'm glad I read reviews for buying a C-130 that had no cockpit. I fly almost exclusively in VR. <laughs> so that, that would have been horrible. A waste of money. But there should be some quality control in there. Absolutely. So hopefully in the next version they'll do a little bit better job of that. I would also like to see them have a better pathway to be in the marketplace. And you see people that have three and four really, really good aircraft but they've been waiting forever to get in the marketplace. And then, like I say, you see a guy that you know has got junk. And you see his junk in there every week, every two weeks. Here's a new piece of junk I just threw together. Here's a new piece of junk I threw together. You see that going on every day, and you see people with really kick-ass products that can't get in there. So let's hope that's part of the revamp. Stop some of this. Stop these people from putting trash in there. And let's get some of these people that have incredible products in there. <laughs> you know, I, and I hear people, oh, don't do the small developer, don't do the big developer, blah, blah, back and forth, back and forth. I'll tell you what, I have big developers that I'll buy everything they produce, and I had an issue with one of them, and they fixed it like instantly. Sent me a patch that allowed me to distribute the patch. I've had a big developer say I didn't know how to fly the plane. That's why it would go backwards to 20,000 feet. Yeah, planes just fly backwards. It's, I'm a bad pilot to get it to go backwards to 20,000 feet. So I've had that with big developers. I had small developers where, that, case in point, I have my own logo on my own plane. Seriously. I'm an idiot. I couldn't do that myself, but the developer did it for me. You know, and this is a great little product. And I was saying that because, and it's not, I didn't test it, I test it now, but I didn't test it then. I bought two copies of this. I bought the Marketplace and the one before it. So, you know, it's not because he gave me the plane. I'm not saying because he gave it to me. I'm saying it because it's just, anytime I've ever heard anybody mention him, there's an issue with the plane, I know he'll spend all night trying to fix it. I also know there's a company that built something very simple and cheap 
that once they put it up there, never touched it. It's got issues since day one, never fixed. So it goes back and forth. So when I what I say about developers, because the aircraft is cheap doesn't mean it's garbage. But because it's expensive doesn't mean it's gonna be backed. So do your like Mr. Ross Flight Simmer says, make sure you do your research before you buy anything. But he always, he usually says because it's cheap doesn't mean it's good. Well, also because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> I know one very, very expensive aircraft that went months with nobody being able to use it because it was so bad. And literally months and months and months, it was put on a back burner forever. So, that's where I stand on that. Make sure you get out there, you know, continue to support your developers. Don't cut them off because of this mess. That's my big message for this. I know I keep harping on it, but I, I've heard so many people saying they're stopping to buy aircraft. I know too many people make extra money doing this to help out. Don't do it to them. Don't screw them for what Microsoft has done. And Microsoft is still supporting this version for a while. They haven't said how long, but a while. And we're also going to be able to fly this for a while. Even well after 2024 comes out. And hell, let's be honest. If the majority of people go to 2024, we'll all go there because we all want to fly together. <laughs> or at least the vast majority of us like to fly with other people. So. There is that. Apparently, I am just flying. I am not on my flight plan at all, am I? No. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, we gotta go direct to X LTA. Okay. Well, I don't want that. No, didn't want that one. Wrong button. Well. Yeah, welcome to my world. Hitting the wrong button again. Go to flight plan. Uh, back to... Nope, that's what I wanted. No, no, no. Oh, I can't ever get this right. Hold on. Let me get out of here. There you go. Now I go direct to right there. Why is it doing that? Why aren't you letting me load it? Fine. Activate. There's what I want. My nav back on. What's my altitude at XULTA? Wait, this thing has vertical speed. Let's see if it's going to work. Probably not. <laughs> we should probably be dropping. We should be heading for 3,000. We'll do it manually for now. Until we get there. Three thousand. We're gonna drop down. That was speed a minute. So other than that, I'm looking forward to the. A whole new game, and it's going to contain. It's going to contain the entire world. Let's like say I hope it contains it better. That's all. <laughs> That's all. I'm hoping it's better. New world. Oop! Watch it going over speed. And I think Microsoft could have done a little better job. I mean, I know they were keeping it a secret and do a big hype push and stuff like that. They could have let a few of the actually marketplace developers know what was going on. <laughs> I'm 
not sure how many of them would have kept it a secret, but... And the fact that they still haven't let some of them know what's going on is an issue. So there's an airport. What airport's that? Apparently it's one that's not in the not in the sim, but that is absolutely definitely an airport. <laughs> well maybe not, maybe just a long field. <laughs> Yes, just a long field. <laughs> Where the hell is this thing taking me? Going there. Where the hell am I? I don't know where this thing's taking me. I'm go back and check. <laughs> Take me where it needs to be. So, all in all, I think it's a good thing. I mean, getting something new that hopefully will fix all these petty issues with this version will help. I just, like I said, I hope we don't have to have new machines and have to have even longer load times and have a less stable project product so let's hope beyond hope that they actually test it and perfect it before they push it out I also hope they stop with deadlines on updates as soon as you put deadlines and updates you compromise what's in it because if somebody doesn't have something done by the time the update comes out they force it done Put it out half ass. Let's hope they do away with the deadlines. Every single game I've seen that does deadlines, it ends up being a bad idea, but they still do it. There's a golf course. Too bad I'm not in live weather. Or live weather stinks. I'm on live time. Evening sunset. Can't be live time. What the sun be over there? That's east. Well, that's west. No, that's west. Okay. <laughs> Get this far north, it doesn't set very well. Till late, late, late. It's almost the longest day of the year. Man, did I go off course? I should be done by now. <laughs> I know what. Now I was running IFR and I don't know why the hell I even up here. <laughs> we'll get this thing rolled in. Well, that's new. I didn't see that on the old one. The new brass and bronze dash looks good. I thought I'm here. Might as well take a look at the new one cabin heat, airflow, nice, the lights, fuel pumps are off, <laughs> so you can stop and listen to that stupid fuel pump line, <laughs> I'm going to bug him though because I just noticed something when I was flying outside the plane here, but this got spikes on the lights. See that gunner? Spikes on the lights. Just like the tail used to have. Got spikes again. <laughs> That'll just get him wound up. <laughs> oh, pretty night. We had, we had storms again today. Unfortunately, I'm, my systems are still completely toast. Until I get the new router. I can't stream tonight. Probably can't stream tomorrow night, which is unfortunate. Of course, load knows when you watch this, it might be streaming tomorrow night. 
but it is I'll be back hopefully if the park comes tomorrow I'll fly and hopefully I don't know if it's going to be a Saturday delivery or not hard telling looking forward to getting back at it I don't like not flying with people in the landing pattern here. So that's my thoughts on it. It looks like it's going to be fun. I remember the missions in the last flights in before this one. And I really enjoyed them. I think the one where you had to, maybe it was two before, I don't know, but where you had to, they had a story and you had to there was one that was like Mayan ruins. You had to land a float plane, go to the docks, unload somebody, and everything starts to go to hell and wrecks and crumbles, and you got to get back in the plane, you got to get out of there. You know, stuff like that that made it more of a game, absolutely. Made it much more of a game, but also added some excitement to it. So to have that back, I think is a good thing. Because look, right now, this is... I call it a game, I call it a sim. Right now, it's really a pure flying sim. What I mean by that is you have to love to fly. That's it. That's all you do. Fly. <laughs> There's a few virtual airlines. There's a couple of new airline simulations out where you got to fly to routes and earn money and buy planes and stuff like that, which is great. I want to get into one of those. I just can't figure out which one is the best and what's the best way to go about it. But having some of that stuff native in the sim would be great too. It used to be. It used to be. And the old flight simulators had missions. And they had voice actors. They had all kinds of stuff. It was great. So to see some of that coming back, I'm all for it. I'm absolutely 100% all for having some of this stuff coming back. foot. Okay, that's our minimum. Our minimum is going to be 100 feet. I'm not sure how much VNAV this thing has. I know when, it, when I get it to work, it works really well, but I, I'm not sure 100% how I get it to work every time. <laughs> I'll figure that out one of these days. I forgot it wasn't descending anymore so I could kick my throttles back up. Pretty river. It's a giant river huge river and this is where it splits that goes up to Wada Wada and that goes up to the Great Lakes Toronto Kingston that's where our parents went down this river for the last week I'm probably going to fly it one night just to do it <laughs> won't have as much fun as they did I guess they had an absolute blast it was all inclusive even when they were off the ship all the tours and everything were considered you don't tip, they've already taken care of the tips. Uh, they've taken care of all the fees for all the tours off the boat. They had a great time. I want to do it one of these days now. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing on our map. We've got 10 miles out before we turn. should be able to pick up the approach at that point. Get configured for landing. Let's 
sit back and enjoy the flight for a bit. <laughs> There's the runways over there. So Microsoft 20 Flight Sim 2024. I have to say I'm looking forward to it. I just hope they're a little bit more forthcoming with the uh, information. That's all. A little bit clearer. with what's going on around it. Look at the glow in the engines now. <laughs> that looks so nice. That really, it's really dark, the outside the glow, you just slightly see it. I think I've got to update my things, because I went back to that one and all my grumpy old bastard one, which I must have overwritten it. <laughs> it's around somewhere. Oh, I just selected the wrong one, but I'm pretty sure I loaded it. He's, oh, he sent me a bunch the other day and I overrode it. That's what he did. That was my mistake. I will fix that. Go back flag. <laughs> Little damn, they get to go up these locks when you take the cruise ship. Turn it in here, gotta start slowing down, get configured for landing. See if let's get squared away if I can get it to pick up on approach. Yep, we got it right there. Hopefully I can get the whole thing to come together. Then we get approach mode to pick up. Gear down. One notch of flaps. Probably start to slow down. Start getting the speed down. speed's kicking in, but we'll see what happens. Ah, yeah, there she's coming down. Coming down. We're getting ready to line up. That's why vertical speed's not there yet, because we're not in the middle yet. Slow down, get the next layer of flaps out. My engine's down. Oh, too slow, too slow, too slow. Wow. 80 is a little too slow. <laughs> Come on, get back up there. Let's see if it starts to pick it up once we cross the glide slope. If not, we'll just hand fly it in. Yeah, I hate making videos, so I guess you can do this as one long flight. So I ran out of stuff to say. <laughs> I 
Let's see if the autopilot picks up the landing flight slope. And yep, it did. It picked it up. Ooh, I should have adjusted my barometric pressure a while back. I'm way off on my glide slope. And brakes are on or off. We're doing good on glide slope. Speed just a hair. I want to be just about 100 on this one. Such an easy bird to fly. I am happy to see he's doing some more Navions, some more work on these. The newest ones are looking incredible. Still on glide slope? In fact, we're just a touch low, I think. Surprise me, it looks like we're a touch high. Yeah, we're not going down now. Nope. Why are we not gliding now? Come on. Nope. You're gonna do that to me, we'll shut the autopilot off. <laughs> Fly it by ourselves. We'll watch the kite slope on the dash. We'll fly it manually. Now what? I'm way below it? What am I screwing up here? <laughs> Let's see if I can get the autopilot to pick up now. Maybe it is landing now. Or it's just going to fly me into the ground, which is entirely possible too. Which is what it looks like it's doing. Yep. Okay, no more autopilot. One of these days I'll actually take the time to figure out how to do this properly. So many different versions to learn. They all do it similar but slightly different. And unfortunately, I only know one of them. Crappy landing. There we go. I'm going to float the entire runway, pretty much. Off center line, I floated pretty much the whole way. Oh, not the whole way, it's a long runway. Well, guys. That's what I think of 2024. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. In the end, the biggest takeaways are it's going to be a new game slash simulator. It's going to hopefully be better. Um, the new hype will give not only Microsoft more money, but our friends and developers more money. 
and in the end it'll bring all of us streamers more viewers because more people buying a new thing will get us more people watching us so I, I see very little downside as long as they take their time and do it right and don't half-ass do a don't half-ass do it as long as they do those few things we're all going to come out ahead across the board developers come out ahead microsoft comes out ahead with influx of cash and we come out ahead as streamers because we'll have more people watching us and more people flying around with us. So there's very little downside I see unless, like I say, they rush it and ruin it and make it worse than this one. Which is a possibility, but hopefully it's a slim possibility. I mean, nobody sets out to say we're going to make a piece of crap game. And I hope a Sobo. I think they take a little bit more pride in their work than that. This guy apparently wants me to stop over here. Wink. There. That's where I'll stop. <laughs> On that note, we're just going to go ahead and shut her down. And I want to thank you all for taking the time to hang out with me. And just to hear my thoughts on this. and where I stand and I hope you all just take a breather and don't get too mad one way or the other and let's let it shake out and see where it goes. So on that note guys, take care of yourselves and I hope to see you all real soon in the flight when we can get back in here. Thanks again. I'm out.